So what is a healthy BMI for women? Let's talk about the healthiest measurement for your weight. BMI, or Body Mass Index, is the measurement calculated by comparing your weight to your height. And although Body Mass Index of 18.5 to 24.9 is considered normal, frankly, BMI is not an accurate measurement of health. Why? Because BMI does not take into account your lean body mass. Muscles and bones weigh much more than fat, so lighter weight people are not necessarily healthier. Athletes with very low percentage of body fat will have a falsely elevated BMI because for their height, their dense muscles and bones are too heavy as measured by a body mass index. And as women age, they lose bone and muscle mass, which may reflect as the same weight on the scale, but they're definitely thicker, not able to wear the same size clothes as they were at the same weight when they were younger. BMI is only a reflection of your weight to your height. BMI does not take into account your body composition, how much fat you have versus lean body mass. Your weight can be artificially elevated if you're constipated, suffering from water retention, from traveling, eating too much sodium, or even from your hormones like being premenstrual. You see, BMI is not the best measurement of your health. So what is a better measurement? Body fat. As a woman, you need at least 10 to 12% essential fat to make hormones and to just survive. Most fit women have 21 to 24% body fat. Athletes often compete at 16 to 18% body fat, sometimes even less. But with such low percentage of body fat, many athletic women will not have periods. That's because you need fat to make healthy levels of hormones. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that balanced hormones are the key to health. In fact, if you're too underweight and with a very low BMI and very low body fat, your hypothalamus will shut down your ability to reproduce. You won't get periods. It's called hypothalamic amenorrhea. That's because you need a certain amount of body fat to make enough estrogen and progesterone to maintain your health and a healthy pregnancy. When your body fat gets below 12%, your hypothalamus deems it's not safe to have a baby, so your periods disappear. Years ago, that happened to me. I was a competitive triathlete, cycling over 100 miles per week, running over 50 miles per week, swimming over four miles per week, and my body fat was a mere 12%. Yes, I was fit, but I wasn't healthy. My super low body fat meant that I made none of my own hormones. So no periods without taking hormones for 18 years. And I was cold all the time because my disrupted hypothalamus signals my, a low T3 activity. I didn't sleep well, I was constantly stressed and anxious, and I existed on less than four to five hours of interrupted sleep a night. I was moody and irritable and I craved sugar all the time. And then I started supporting my hypothalamus with Genesis Gold and I put on five pounds, five pounds of essential body fat for me and my periods came back on their own. By supporting my hypothalamus, my temperature rose to just above normal, meaning my metabolism was higher. About three years into using Genesis Gold, I had a thermogram done. By that time, I was over 40, and my thyroid showed much more youthful activity. Usually, women over 40 have very cool, underactive thyroids, which probably contributes to midlife weight gain. So body fat composition is a more accurate measurement of health than BMI. Join me in our hormone support group by signing up for the Hormone Reboot Training and let's talk about how to get fit and healthy. I suggest you get rid of your scale and get out a tape measure. Keeping an eye on your waist measurement is a better way to measure your health. Measure your waist at the smallest part, not the largest part of your stomach, usually just above your belly button. If your waist is over 30 inches for a woman, you may be heading towards insulin resistance, diabetes, and heart disease. There's lots of body composition calculators available. Some are more accurate than others. Although not as accurate as underwater weighing to determine body fat, I like to refer my patients to an online Navy calculator. That way they can keep tabs on their body composition. The goal is more lean body mass, more muscle and bone to keep metabolically active, healthy, and age more gracefully. I'll see you in the next video.